let me hear how you feel inside. You African, I know you're scared inside. You African, but I know your future's bright. You African, but let them choose to say. No matter what I say or do, then I'll be thinking that you're homeless. You run the world and you know. Breaking news. Welcome to Let's Talk Africa with Miss Spider. Today it is the International Day of the African Child. In case you didn't know, 16 June is the day we celebrate the African child. Where did this come from? A lot of people don't even know about this day, but I will let you know. So, on the 16th of June in 1976 in South Africa, during a protest, thousands of black children took to the streets of Soweto to demand better quality education and the right to be taught in their own language because then it was apartheid and everything was taught in Afrikaans. So they went to the streets to revolt against the evil regime. But how did the police react to that? They shot them and hundreds of kids lost their lives that day. So this day deserves as an opportunity to highlight the challenges faced by the African children and to promote their rights and well-being. So each year, the African Union selects a theme to focus on a specific issues affecting children on the continent. Activities and events are organized across the various African countries to raise awareness and foster discussions on ways to improve the lives of African children. So to help you also understand how they started, you need to look for the movie Sarafina, which is one of the movies that I grew up on. If you watch it, it makes you understand how the situation was like in um, when this whole revolt happened. And the theme for 2024 for the Day of the African Child is education for all children in Africa. The time is now and indeed the time is now. Every child has a right to an education and we should be working towards this. And not only the underprivileged, even the children that are not in Zimbabwe right now, you know this. I always preach about this. Everyone knows about this. It is my utmost passion and my utmost wish that every African child would know about where they come from, their roots. They don't necessarily have to speak their mother tongue. That is like a bonus, but just understanding their language, understanding where they're from, understanding who they are, I feel is one of those things that makes them know who they are and brings their identity. We have so many children who will be living in the diaspora who you speak to in your mother tongue which will be the same as yours and they're like huh because they don't know how to speak their language you know this i'm not going to go into this so let's celebrate our african children let's celebrate children all over the world and let them know about who they are like just like how the children in soweto stood up their ground it's very sad that they were shot down and a lot of them had to die but they were standing up for themselves and saying enough is enough we are africans we need to be taught in our language we need to learn about our language and not be like just learning in the oppressor's language so here we are um as we celebrate the international children's day of the african child so i hope you learned something today about 16 june join me on the next episode of let's talk africa with miss Pida as we explore more things new ideas new parts that we're taking on the channel thank you so much for tuning in don't forget to subscribe share and comment and tell me what you'd like to see on the channel i love you guys thank you so much See you. Bye.